hello everyone. Uh, this is Saifur Rahman. Uh, today I'm going to present uh, a research study that uh, I we have done uh, to explore the feasibility of roller compacted geopolymer concrete containing a uh, recycled aggregate. Uh, myself, Saif Rahman, and uh, I'm the graduate research assistant. Uh, I worked under the supervision of Dr. Mohammed Jamal Khatak, professor, University of Louisiana at Lafayette. I would like to thank uh, Transit Conference organizer to give us an opportunity to present our work. Uh, Every year, enormous amount of construction and demolition waste is generated in the United States. According to an estimation by Environmental uh, Protection Agency, EPA, showed that around 548 million tons of CND waste are generated in 2015 only. Uh, this uh, waste contains a major portion as recycled concrete aggregate. Uh, recycled concrete aggregate are mainly the, uh, uh, the uh, CND waste that generated from uh, concrete pavement and any infra, in, uh, structure that contains Portland cement. Uh, this waste actually creates a storage problem uh, and also environmental pollution. Uh, due to the low strength and durability characteristics of this material, their uses are limited to landfill, low strength base or sub base. And sometimes RCA are also used in Portland cement concrete in a smaller proportion. For example, the coarse RCA is used up to 30%. The fine is used up to 10 to 20% max. Uh, utilization of this material can not only uh, contribute to the construction, reducing the construction cost, but also can provide solution to a storage problem and environmental pollution. Uh, researchers are trying to use RCA in different ways. For example, they're trying to use RCA in Portland cement concrete. Uh, with the help of different admixture like carbon nanofiber, uh, fly ash. Uh, they are also trying to use RCA in geopolymer concrete using different gradation of RCA, different alkali concentration and content, and also with uh, Portland cement concrete and carbon nanofiber. Acceptable, acceptable properties were found only when they are used RCA in a smaller proportion. However, none of the above mentioned study studies reported significant improvement in the strength and durability characteristics to use RCA as a 100% re replacement of natural aggregate. In conventional concrete, what happens is the strength comes from the cohesion or bonding between the aggregates and the cement binder. And since these RCA particles are co already coated with old mortar, the interface bond between the RCA aggregate and the cement is weak. So there is a different type of concrete, which is roller compacted concrete. Here the uh, concrete is actually compacted after placement. And here the strength comes from both the cohesion or bonding between the aggregates and the cement binder. And also the friction and interlocking of the aggregate. And since cement has been used for a long time and it has some drawbacks of producing carbon dioxide while it's uh, produced. So we are, uh, proposing a different kind of uh, concrete that is roller compacted concrete using geopolymer cement. In this study, we used a fly ash based geopolymer cement that can contribute to reduction of carbon dioxide by reducing the uses of cement. The main goal of the research is to explore the feasibility of roller compacted geopolymer concrete Specific objectives are to evaluate the effect of different curing condition on the mechanical characteristics of roller compacted geopolymer concrete, different tests like unconfined compressive strength, UCS, uh, semicircular bending beam strength, and dynamic modulus test were performed. Microstructure investigation was performed using X ray diffraction, and durability was assessed by freeze thaw durability test. A little bit of uh, details about the roller compacted concrete is. Uh, it uses the same material as conventional concrete, same curing requirement. Uh, it uses also similar aggregate gradation like asphalt pavement, but uses the uh, compaction technology from asphalt pavement. And as you see, the uh, strength or uh, total load carrying capacity is coming from both friction uh, due to the compaction, com uh, compaction of the aggregate and also the uh, cohesion or hydration of the binder. Some benefit of roller compacted concrete is it's quicker to construct 
and it doesn't need any forms or finishing, no dowels, tie rod, and it's also cost effective compared to the con conventional concrete and multiple lift as per pavement. Um, some details about the geopolymer cement is uh, mm, any, it's kind of uh, chemical reaction between the fly ash and the alkali uh, solution, which is mainly the sodium hydroxide and sodium silicate. Together, uh, they form uh, a polymer and after curing, a strong cement binder is formed. The material used in this uh, study was uh, fly ash, which is mainly class F fly ash or low calcium fly ash. The recycle aggregate, we collected it from a local uh, a contractor and the gradation that comes with the recycle aggregate was actually the lower bound uh, uh, by ACPA recommended or American Association of uh, American Concrete Pavement Association uh, recommended lower bound gradation. The alkali used here was sodium hydroxide and sodium silicate, um, a mixture of that. The elemental composition of the uh, fly ash and RCA uh, sh has uh, shown that the fly ash has significant amount of uh, uh, alumina and silica, which is good for geopolymeric reaction. And also the RCA had uh, shown a significant portion of calcium compound, which is mainly generated from the uh, cement hydration product. Uh, the XRD of those material also showed the proof of quartz, mullite, and calcite. The sample preparation, uh, we prepared the sample using uh, ASTM uh, C1435 standards and uh, RCN flash are mixed together and then alkali was added. The sample was compacted in a cast iron mold in three layers using a vibratory hammer. The experimental variable uh, that we investigated is curing time, 24 hour, 48 hour, 72 hours oven curing at uh, 25 degree, 40 degree and 60 degrees Celsius. The ambient curing days also, we investigated 14 days, 28 days and 56 days. The test we performed is unconfined compressive strength, semicircular bending beam strength test, uh, dynamic modulus, uh, free store durability and X-ray diffraction or XRD. At the beginning, we uh, determined the optimum alkali content or moisture content for the mixture uh, using modified proper test. Four different alkali content we used, and then we determined the dry density and plotted a dry density versus alkali content uh, graph. From there, we uh, actually uh, took the alkali content corresponding to the uh, maximum dry density, which is the OMC. After getting the OMC, we prepared the specimen. We cured with uh, three different temperatures, 25, 40, and 60 degree. And it was observed that as the temperature increases, the strength also increases. However, we took a 60 degree as our uh, uh, nominated temperature for oven curing, which is consistent with other experiments uh, in our projects too. At 60 degrees Celsius, we cured the specimen in uh, three different uh, curing time, it was observed that after 48 hour oven curing, the strength doesn't increase any further. So we took uh, 60 degrees Celsius and 48 hour oven curing as our accelerated curing method. The ambient curing we investigated was 14 day, 28 day and 56 day. And it was found that uh, on those days, uh, the strength was almost 60, 70 and 82 percent of the maximum strength that we found in oven curing. So it is expected that another couple of will, week curing will uh, actually uh, gain 100% or maximum strength as oven curing. Uh, the tangential strength we verified or determined using semicircular bending beam strength and it was found that at optimum moisture content or alkali content, the strength was maximum and it reduces when we shift from the optimum in the dry and wet side. Dynamic modulus, uh, it showed result that it does did not change uh, with the loading frequency, which uh, we can uh, conclude that this material does not show viscoelastic uh, behavior at room temperature. And freeze thaw test we performed and the result was satisfactory. The length change of the specimen was less than 1%. And uh, uh, after 300 cycle, 
the uh, dynamic modulus retained was more than 60 percent in freeze thaw we changed the temperature from minus 12 degree to 12 degree celsius in two to five hours and also uh, did the opposite in same time. The XRD results also showed the presence of uh, sodium, alum, uh, sodium aluminum silicate, which is nephline, and also the uh, calcium, alumin, uh, calcium sodium aluminum silicate, which is cancrinite. So these are the geopolymeric compound that is formed in this uh, uh, composite. In calculation, we have uh, compressive strength and elastic modulus increased with the increase in oven curing temperature and uh, accelerated curing method was taken as 60 degrees Celsius, 48 hour oven curing. Uh, the uh, ambient temp curing also showed significant achievement of the uh, strength in 28 days. Uh, it was found that the dynamic modulus was independent of loading frequencies and hence uh, this material is not viscoelastic at 25 degrees Celsius. Uh, the OMC uh, showed the uh, highest SCB or semicircular bending uh, beam strength and uh, these material pairs the durability test and also XRD uh, ha has uh, proven the formation of geopolymeric compound. The recommendation that we uh, wanted to make is uh, the investigation of flexural strength and indirect tangential strength should be investigated for this material and uh, other durability tests like sulfate attack or uh, uh, permeability this can be uh, checked for this material. Um, we would like to thank University of Louisiana at Lafayette uh, and infrastructure material testing laboratory for uh, let us using their uh, uh, their facility. We'd like to thank Boral Material Technologies for uh, supplying us the fly ash and also Mark LeBlanc, Shane uh, Faircloth and Peyton Bailey for assisting in the experimentation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.